Alright, so, I know it's been a long time with no updates, but, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't tell you when I'm going to be making more videos now, um, I just haven't been working on too much lately, with everything else that there is to do, but, I thought I haven't made a video in at least a month now, I have to make something, <clears throat> but I guess the first thing, well, the only thing you've seen so far is the wheel horse. Well, uh, I don't know if I've ever told you, but the wheel horse used to have the metal tank on it. And it leaked gas out of this crazy glass pet cough so much. I would go overnight to somebody's house, and by the time I'd get back home, it I, I would, well, by the morning, I'd barely have enough gas to get back home. So, let's see, here it is big glass pet cock. It always just leaked, so I said enough's enough, and I finally took this plastic one. Very similar, same shape and everything. And I uh, made it work. So now that I don't have the pet cock, I had to run my own kind of set up underneath here. And there's an off and on fuel switch up in there so seems like it's working good uh... the other things i had to address was my steering the bolt was lost and i just kept putting nails in it because i didn't I honestly didn't have time i didn't ride it much so i needed something just to move it around and my motor mounts are broken off the frame on the welds so they're all rewelded now um, use the stick this time so the MIG get a little bit better of a burn. So the only thing now with this is the axle is just puking oil. I mean it leaked always, but it's just puking now, so. But other than that, um I got this spreader today. Uh pull behind spreader. Don't know what it's from, work, you know, what do you do with the seeds I guess, but thought it'd be good for salt and whatever else so I just got it today for free so figure this winter maybe if I uh I'd like to get a plow or make a plow for one of my tractors I figured the spreader would be great because I could plow and then use the spreader behind the tractor but I don't know unless I get a plow that probably won't happen other than that the sears um it's moved down here now started to get it tarped over just blew off trying to get everything winterized but haven't got too far with that yet um I'm Massey the training had been giving me a lot of problems uh and then my valve stem went bad so the tires flat I've been doing too much with it lately uh everything else about the same um I have a line of tractors now just trying to get everything ready for winter. Um, the Homolite, Dan Holtz tractor, the MTD I bought, and the Stripped Craftsman. The racer's just sitting here, I haven't had time to move it. <clears throat> the MTD, the steering kept bending because it was just rigged up to move it around. So, that's all the farther it got before the steering bent so much we couldn't move it. So, to give us room though, we can go a lot more room under here now without the Sears and the MTD. Uh, I got the black project out here. Haven't been too much work on it. Um, I drained all the old gas out in that Mountain Dew bottle. Other than that, I, I don't know. I'd like to just find another engine to put in it because I know the training's good and the wiring needs replaced, but it needs a governor plate on the engine, and I don't have one. So if I just find another engine like a twin or something or another one equivalent, I'm just going to put it in there and make it simpler. Um, mud tractor, pretty much, I don't know, I was thinking about stealing the wheels off of it and putting it on the black tractor for now because there's uh, Badlands, I don't even think they're Kenda or something, Badlands, I don't know. They uh, won't hold air. So, 
I figured I'd put these old shark tires on the back with the wheels that are on already and the front tires even it out and it'd be good for winter but I gotta get it running first um, other than that just got some old tires back here so that's pretty much outside of my shop for the inside it's a mess so fair warning um, I don't know if I saw it, showed you guys this or not, but it's a Suzuki FA, I think it's an FA50 mo moped, it's not mine, it's been here for probably a month, it's my friend's, I'm supposed to fix it for him, but I haven't had time, he doesn't care, so, but the Kickstarter does not engage, it just grinds, so, I need help with that though, so if anyone knows, let me know. Other than that, I don't know. It would probably run if I clean the carb on it. I might actually buy it off the home here, but only if it's cheap. Um, I mean, you got the TV in here now with the GameCube. <laughs> Didn't want to bring the Xbox out because it's my shed. And we figured this winter we'd have something to do out here while we're working. Uh, just got the Jazzy and the other chair set up to play some game. I mean, other than that, it's just a wreck. I have the pool starter off of the scooter because uh, last time I rode it, it broke when I was pulling it. I mean, it was pretty frayed, so I'm not too worried about it, but I haven't been around to getting a fix, and it's been off for over a month at least, so. Other than that, fishing poles. Um, well, I don't know, they just stay out here. I love fishing and use them a lot, so. Just bad starters. I mean. Oh, yeah, if you haven't seen the Craftsman, it's because I sold it to Danny, and the front end snapped on it, so. It's over at his place. Um, it still runs, still moves, but the front end snaps, so he can't drive it. I mean, it's a terrible camber, but. Other than that, the starter is off of it here. Having this starter always had problems, but the gear completely snapped off. So it just kind of spins on here. But the white starter is locked up. So I just put a starter off an 8 horsepower on it. Uh, the cob I sold to the friend who used to have the Craftsman. He has not picked it up yet, though. So. Well, I think that's about it for updates. Thought it'd be good for you guys to hear from me. Oh, I have the uh, wheels and tires on the wagon now. And I painted the bottom where it was all rust. That way, this winter, when the snow's on it, it doesn't rust anymore. So. Got a lot of junk. I need to start getting rid of it. Get my license here soon, so I gotta worry about insurance money. So, well, that's about it. Other than my dirt bike, the YZ250 locked up again. So I have a video of here on it. So, but yeah, that's a whole other story, and I don't want to get into it right now. But well, that's uh, update.